With superstars leading the Warriors such as Steph Curry and Kevin Durant, many people often forget about players such as Andre Iguodala and Draymond Green who have also had important roles in the Warriors dynasty. While many people measure a player's production by points, these two players both show that that is not always the case. Iggy has been a very versatile player who can play the point guard, shooting guard, and small forward. He's also been a great defender as well. In terms of defense, Draymond Green has been recognized across the NBA because of that. When people look back at this year's Golden State Warriors team, some would just say that Kevin Durant carried this team with some help from Steph Curry. But in reality, this team could potentially have six Hall of Famers, two of them being Draymond Green and Andre Iguodala coming off the bench. People forget just how good Iggy was before he joined the Warriors. Yeah, he was never a top tier elite player, but he was still pretty decent. In eight seasons with the 76ers, he averaged 15 points, five assists, and six rebounds, and had an all-star appearance, Olympic medalist, and all-defensive selection. When he joined the Warriors in 2013, his role was reduced as he began to come off the bench, but as I said earlier, he still had an important role in the Warriors dynasty. He was able to prove this early on in his time in Golden State, where he got another all-defensive selection and got a finals MVP in 2015. His defensive impact was felt in the series against the Cavs that year as LeBron James was 38% from the field when Iguodala was on the court versus 44% when he wasn't. Iggy, along with other players on the Golden State Warriors team, are now three-time NBA champions and they will most likely get their fourth this year. Next season, if Iggy doesn't retire, he will have a chance to join LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Paul Pierce as the only players in NBA history to have 12,000 points, 5,000 rebounds, 4,500 assists, 1,500 steals, 500 blocks, and 1,000 three-pointers made. That's very elite company to be a part of, and if you're still not convinced, then consider this. A player by the name of Casey Jones played for the Celtics throughout the 50s and 60s and was an eight-time NBA champion while having the same role that Iguodala was in. He's in the Basketball Hall of Fame, and he was never an all-star. Now let's talk about Draymond Green. I've got to be honest, I really don't like him all that much, but what he's done while he's playing for the Warriors can't go unnoticed. With Curry and Clay doing all the shooting, Draymond can handle the ball and play defense. He basically does the things that their backcourt doesn't do, and that's why he averages seven plus rebounds and seven assists a game. He's a four-time all-defensive player that won Defensive Player of the Year and led the league in steals in the 2016-2017 season. A three-time All-Star and two-time All-NBA player, the most points Green has averaged in a season is just 14. A good amount of people will most likely use that against him when it's all said and done because there are only two players in the Basketball Hall of Fame that average less than 15 points per game, Casey Jones and Dennis Rodman. Those two players, like Draymond, were elite defenders for the majority of their career, and the fact that the Warriors will be on their way to winning their fourth NBA title of the decade is just going to help Green's case for the Hall of Fame that much more. You also have to remember that Draymond Green is still only 29, while Andre Iguodala is 35, so he can still build his resume to be in the Hall of Fame. Do you agree with my points? Do you think Draymond Green and Andre Iguodala are Hall of Famers? Let me know. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, like the video. And if you like me, subscribe.